Republic Pictures' Captain America, proof that movie theaters were desperate to fill the pre-show with anything before they invented Maria Menounos. Starring a hero with resting, I hope nobody noticed I pooped face. Whose secret identity is the lawyer so boring even David E. Kelly wouldn't write about him. Featuring his sidekick who does more work for him than Penny does for Inspector Gadget. His arch nemesis who must be exhausted acting circles around everyone else. His allies who apparently are still characters in this if you can trust the credits. And special appearance by two of his enemies, 6,348 henchmen. With a handful of people who maybe could have gotten their faces in the opening credits if they weren't all passed out drunk under the craft services table. The characters and events are fictitious, obviously, because nobody who works in a museum could possibly have enough money to fund the Scarab's operations. Chapter 7, Wholesale Destruction, the customer-facing division of Destruction, Inc. Captain America fails at doing something after Gale successfully did something else, and also Henley's involved somehow. Moving right along. Do, 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 do. Take this case and drop it down the shaft at the end of the tunnel. But that shaft is one bad mother. Hello, the door was open. I'm here to deliver a rifle. Get your hands up, Maxon. That's not fair! They've got rocks, all we've got is guns! Screw it, I'm taking a nap. Cap probably could have picked that rifle back up by now and won this easily, but then we wouldn't get to watch this. That's not a real shaft. Wiley Coyote painted that on the ground. Boy, this Ikea furniture never lasts as long as you need it to. Hanson keeps hitting his own partners while trying to hit Cap. His aim is worse than a stormtrooper. Look at all that dust. Is he a grown-up pig pen? No, those are my favorite rocks! Sure, knock more furniture over. What do I care? His scarab! Oh, I hope that dummy is okay. A cap always lands on his feet. Matson tries to drop the bucket on him, but somehow it's gonna hit Gruber and he's not even here. They filled the bucket with rocks, and when they pull it back up, it'll have a monster mascus. Jeez, how long is this thing's chain? This shot looks so cool in 3D. And Cap extremely casually rolls out of the way. Not everything warrants a cliffhanger, guys. He's in Scary Farms The Depths, rest in peace. And now he climbs up the rope like Graham. This shaft is the Peasant's Quest and the King's Quest well. The criminal gang uses a station wagon because they really are a family here. Meanwhile, on a model train set, do you think he met a window cameo while he was climbing? Why are you checking for signs of life like we haven't seen you kill in cold blood several times over? This whole serial is a tourism promotional video for the Drummond Museum. It's all here. Yeah. I took it right from under Captain America's nose and finished him off at the same time. Now we can fight off you bigger threats to us, like houseflies or stale and cookies. The money and outsmarted the district attorney. Perhaps. Yeah, that's a brag. Group is checking now. All right, the money is hot. Sean Evans is feeding it to celebrities. District Attorney tricks Scarab. Extortion money useless. The District Attorney's office has just announced that the extortion money delivered by J.C. Henley, wealthy oil man, to the criminal gang headed by the Scarab is useless to them. Is this true, or is Grant lying about being better prepared again? Also, does it matter? Stop, look out, and phone the police at once should any other money be presented. A list of the serial numbers will be found on page three. Oh, it's a choose-your-own-adventure newspaper. My last note to Henley, I warned him he would suffer if he failed to obey my instructions. 
No, I shall demonstrate to him what it means to disobey the scarab. Webster's Dictionary defines disobey Captain, as... Proceed with that original plan. Yes, sir. How soon can you be ready to strike? By tonight. George J. Lewis once again getting ideas about a hacienda with a secret passageway like this. So, boss, now that Matson's gone, has he been asking about me? Does he think I'm cute? Right, Henry will be glad to pay any price I demand, in spite of all the protection he can get from the district attorney. Anyway, back to writing Palm Royale slash fic. And although your trick to prevent the use of the money was successful, you will soon learn how dangerous it is to disregard the Scarab's orders. Can we follow that suit of armor back there? His adventures seem more interesting. To slip under my door about an hour ago. Alongside a note that said, do you like me, check yes or no. Without any strings and had it all over with. What assurance do you have that the Scarab would have stopped with one demand? Just because I don't have any follow-through doesn't mean the Scarab doesn't. The second note doesn't ask for money, it just threatens me. Oh, I want to help you, but... I'm afraid your patheticness is beyond my help. I've considered that too. And made arrangements to keep you right here in my own apartment under guard. Yeah, that keeps working. There any member of that Mayan expedition can be really safe until the Scarab and his gang are run to Earth. Of course, you're right. It's a hopeless task. Not exactly. I only have one punch left before I get free Quiznos. This was in the pocket of the man found at the mine. Just a card for me. Venture and Radford, the lot is at the Mendocino Farms? No, but it does indicate that the dead man has had some connections with the used car lot. The used car lot is sponsored by the old racist Washington football team? You the manager? Right. I'm Gardner, district attorney. You're a gardener named district attorney? Yeah. Odd name, but as long as you water the plants... Have you ever seen this man? This is a naked picture of you. Why, yes. I sold him a truck the other day. What type? One that goes oh, vroom vroom. I've got the specifications right here. Funny thing about it, too. He had me looking for several days. James Urbaniak is Andy right. Kindler. Nothing else would do. Here. Let me read you this cornbread recipe. 18 feet long, five and a half wide. God, people are so picky eight, with what they look for on their Double dating profiles. With, with, window in each. with eyes and glass curtains, you can roll right down in case there's a change in the weather. Six, four, three. Was it in condition to be driven away? No. My tow car delivered it to a garage on the other side of town. All right, Which another garage? garage. I don't know. The night man made the delivery. Fighter of the day uh, man. When he comes on tonight. Phone me the address of that garage as soon as you can. I'll be waiting in my office. And Meehan immediately forgets he ever met old what's-his-name and never follows up. The sinister Grant's office theme. So far, the only clue we have is the license number. Now what please? Hello? Gail, come on, be it's professional. It's for you, Chief. Yeah, it's his office. Hello? Hello, Mr. Gardner? I have the information you want. Ah, so that cul-de-sac added a few garage. seconds to the runtime. That's right. Martin's Garage. From the makers of Martin's Vids. It's a bunch of detailed recreations of Epcot vehicles. Wait, nitrogen comes in a gas form now? What an age we live in. This is all the nitro it takes for the studio tour tram to make that jump in supercharged. Why is Matson a milkman now? Did Gail Storm forget to leave a note for him? This sure looks like one of the real company trucks. Yeah, good job. That's exactly like the one used at Henley's plant. Looks just as off the shelf as any of his. I'm supposed to be on my way to the oil plant now. Hey, what about Burton? Burton? He's busy promoting Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Slide the door back, will you? There. They could have just stolen a TG Oil Company truck instead of disguising a different truck as one, but crimes are just more fun when you incorporate arts and crafts. This guy's prepping to hijack the great movie ride. License plate horseshoes never caught on as a lawn game. An ad for B.F. Goodrich? What a man-made miracle. Hello. Hello. What can I do for you? I'm the district attorney. I'm looking for a large panel truck. Uh, sorry, I'm not familiar with that sexual euphemism. You understand me. A large panel truck was towed in here the other day for repairs. The license number is XM7643. Oh, yeah. You needed a new motor, and we didn't have any, so we turned down the job. Great cover-up, guys. You don't know where it was taken, do you? No, I don't. And you didn't do anything at all to it? No, but we still charge $247. You don't mind if I look around, do you? Go ahead. Help yourself. Thanks. J.K. Simmons has his eye on Grant. 
Captain America, people suspiciously shuffling around a garage. Wait, he's just noticing the plate now? So the implication that he noticed it earlier was just bad editing? Was that first shot still a blank to fire as a warning shot? He hates this can! It's the police squad gunfight. They're two feet away from each other. Wait, if I pretend to get shot now, I won't have to be in any more of these. Another death at Cap's hands. No, he killed Buddy Hackett in the love bug. This must be a clue, if I only knew how to read. Oh my god, I'm overdue for an oil change. This is a job for really any actual superhero, not this guy. Inside, phone for some of our men. Check the place carefully. Is the truck in there? No, but they stencil loop at the name of Henley's Technigas Oil Company, so they must be planning to attack his plant. I've got to get out there right away. Also, watch your step in there. There's a lot of dead bodies. The Technigas process, used for fueling the car in Peg Leg Pedro. That's where they're hiding the cap from outer space's ship. Oh, he's doing a window cameo. I've never seen you before. New man? Yeah. Well, I'll have to see your pass. No, Matson killed John Polito! I feel silly about this elaborate truck disguise now that I simply killed the guard. It's hard to drive through this terrible day for night lighting. Is that just the platinum refinery from a different angle? Where do we hook him in? Time to make some nitro ice cream. Connect it into this pipe. The nitro gas will feed through these pipes into every building in the plant. And then we can give each and every person here emergency dental surgery. Wait. Till I come back to your side. 200 pound pressure on this line. I'll close the master valves. Always two valves there are. We now go live to Corpse Cam. This man is dead and it's not by my hand? How is that possible? And he's off to search this studio backlot. I mean, oil company. We gotta fill how many balloons for this kid's birthday party? Sure, I'll turn this one for good measure too. Why not? I'm on a roll. Cereal's actually better when I can't see what's happening. Turn up the fire, full blast. But mom said not to touch the thermostat. Meanwhile, in the Titanic spoiler room, Wow, that's a depressing looking playground. All right, gauges are back. Woohoo! Uncle Sam, finally something patriotic in Captain America. No room for rumors. The Nazi's greatest asset is the rumor weed. Oh, no, you don't. I got dibs on the master valve. And once again, Cap knocks the bad guys over by stumbling kinda near them. So, uh, Matson, you still think you eliminated Cap? Oh, smart. Shoot your gun around the nitrogen. All right, Barrels, this is what you get for blocking the view in the Scary Farm Nightmares Revealed livestream. Again, sad jungle gym. Ah, he went to the Donkey Kong School of Eliminating Threats. After watching all these, I want to fight the fight choreographer, and I'm pretty sure I can beat him. Perfect camera blocking, no notes. Breakaway furniture is this city's biggest export, or it would be if Cap left any standing. Okay, this time will he get to drink from the fire hose? Somebody must have found the marble in the oatmeal by now. And that axe hit eight other scarab henchmen we haven't met yet. Out of the way, Cap, I gotta punish this railing. Log's about to blow! Reverse Kramer. Oh man, is it 200 o'clock already? Again, that no smoking sign cannot be deliberate irony. I refuse to give the filmmakers that much credit. You can't make me.
Is this the compass from How to Go Places? He's got the wrench, but what about the lead pipe and the candlestick? Oh, I love when playgrounds have fake steering wheels. Wow, that was an expensive looking explosion. I can't believe we had that in the budget. Okay, that's the one that actually killed him. Serial over. No, we just saw the cremation and it was firmly on the ground. Blah, blah, blah. Cap died again until we find out that he didn't. I know, I'm just as tired of this as you are. But you know what I'm not tired of? My patrons! They continue to help me not only with their continued financial support, but by watching these serials with me on Patreon live streams to point out joke opportunities that I might otherwise have missed. If you would like to join the next Patreon live stream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. And at $2, you can watch next week's riff, which is about animation. Kinda. And I'll be joined by a special guest riffer who's such an expert on animation that animation is practically his name. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to go pay an extortionist in a way that'll just make him even madder at me. So until next time, this is Dave, signing off.